This isn't the first time Nevada courts have been uh, have seen the uh, violence in the court. Ten years ago, today a court security officer was shot and killed at the courthouse downtown. And two decades ago, a judge nearly lost his life in a Reno courtroom. Our Pauline Busca talks with the judge who says Wednesday's courtroom attack once again brings safety to the forefront for everyone in the courtrooms. It takes a mental toll as well as a physical toll to be attacked. Judge Charles Weller knows all too well the terror of being attacked in your workplace. I was uh, in chambers preparing for court. A sniper fired a rifle through the window of my chambers, striking me in the chest. It was June 12th, 2006 when accused gunman Darren Mack, who was later convicted of killing his wife, fired at the judge. An attack against any judge uh, is distracting for all judges, and we don't need our judges to be distracted. We need them to be focused on applying the law to the facts of the case before them. This incident setting a dangerous precedent of safety in courthouses. Unbelievable. On January 4th, 2014, Stan Cooper, a retired Metro police officer serving as a court security officer, was shot and killed in a shootout at a Las Vegas courthouse. I'm sure right now judges around the United States are more concerned about their physical safety than they were the day before yesterday. I just can't with that history. And now, this video seen by millions. Judge Holtis attacked on Wednesday in her courtroom. It's just terrible, and I, I hope that Judge Holtis is, is fine. This kind of attack on the judicial system is terrible, not only for the judge who is the victim of the attack, but for the entire judiciary and for the people who are served by the judiciary. Weller says in light of this attack, he's sure new security measures will be installed. He says safety will be the main topic of discussion at their next board meeting. The Nevada judges will be meeting and having a presentation on court security within a couple of months that was just coincidentally scheduled. And so we'll be discussing as a bench what exists in the state of Nevada and what can be done to improve security. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Paulina Bootska.